If you thought you were simply looking at some silly type of fish, then you're correct. But you're also wrong, because you're looking at an incredibly rare natural phenomenon that not many people get to see in their lifetimes, which is the spawning of the brook lampreys. That's right, these fish are lampreys. But even better, they are a fresh water species of lamprey. Are you curious now? Do I have your attention? Well, good! Let's start the intro to this video. gentlemen it's really early in the morning it's unusual for me to wake up so early but I have to because I want to document a very natural event in my country and for that I have to travel far and I have to travel early and I'm gonna show you what it is so I grabbed my bike and was on my way to the train station I often use public transport and then the bus Oh, and do you see that guy in the back? He is my friend Owen, and he was helping me film today. Forest in the Netherlands is pretty rare, but we still have some left. So this is where I want to be today. Let's go. This is what I came for. This is what is called a brook. These freshwater springs leak filtered groundwater from the forest where it flows from the springs to the rivers. This particular forest, however, has something very special going on in these fresh water streams every early spring. Brook lampreys. Yes, these are lampreys. Yes, they are fresh water. Yes, they migrate up these tiny streams in the forest. It's crazy, but it's true. Freshwater lamprey in the Netherlands? It's true! And they are right here below me, pairing in this little stream. This is a natural phenomenon that happens only once a year, very early in spring, when the temperatures are still cold. This is a rare and protected species in the Netherlands, protected by law, so that means we cannot disturb them. Not that I intend to, but I just thought it was really interesting. And uh, reportedly they are here every year. They are not shy at all. I can just approach them and film them like this. It's very interesting. So how does that work? Well, most people know lampreys are these big scary parasitic fish with very scary teeth on their mouth that usually live in the oceans. This species, however, is completely different. First of all, they are not parasitic. Instead, they feed from detritus and organic material, worms and insects and plant material. Definitely not as bloodthirsty as their cousins. Second of all, they are a freshwater species. Not and many what you are know seeing a number is of lampreys actually comparing their life cycle in fresh water lamprey not in is water. a non-parasitic species that ranges from North America to Northern Europe. Unlike some species of lamprey, the adults do not migrate to the sea and do not have a parasitic phase. During the spawning time, adult brook lampreys do not feed. Brook lampreys spawn in spring and summer in shallow areas of streams and sometimes lakes, in gravel close to the soft sediment in which they were previously resident. Both males and females create pits by removing small rocks with their mouths and fanning smaller particles with their tails. The male and female deposit sperm and eggs simultaneously while intertwined into the nest. The female can release several thousands of eggs. The eggs hatch within a few days. 
after which the young larvae bury themselves in soft sediment with only the mouth protruding. The young lampreys are blind filter feeders, feeding on detritus and other organic materials for three to five years before maturing. After spending four years as amocuetus or larva, these lampreys metamorphosize to adults in the fall and spawn the following spring. Interesting to note is that these lampreys die after spawning. Their eyeless and blind babies will migrate back to the rivers and feed on detritus and filter feed on particles of organic materials. But interestingly, when the fish become mature and develop eyes and a mouth sucker, they actually stop feeding. Let me ask you a question. Did you watch the moths videos on my channel? And did you notice how many moth species do not have a functional mouth and cannot eat? It's kind of like that. These fish cannot eat once they mature and essentially slowly starve to death shortly after building a nest and having a lot of orgies. Nonetheless, where I live, the brook lamprey is a rare species and also legally protected species in my country. That is declining. Brook lamprey populations have been reduced or even eliminated from a significant number of streams. The major source of concern for brook lamprey populations is alterations of streams and waterways, which serve as their habitat. This includes removal of suitable spawning area, as well as those alterations that affect detritus availability. Their upstream migration makes them vulnerable to things that block these migrations, like dams, sluices, but also things like pollution of the waterways and alterations of the freshwater springs. Last but not least, a fact to blow your mind, lampreys are one of the most primitive of all vertebrates, meaning that they are the least changed from the first vertebrates. They are so primitive that they have cartilage instead of bones, and they are jawless. Yes, one of the most primitive vertebrate species right here on my channel. I have a lot of respect and appreciation for this species. And that was it. I decided to explore the local forest for a while. It's super early in spring, so there are not that much interesting insects yet, but we can have a look. Let's continue our little forest adventure for a while. I don't expect to see much though. Oh, and do you like this footage? I filmed it with my newest GoPro. I'm working on some very big videos using the GoPro, but consider this moment a little test. Look at those little forest streams. This is the habitat of the Brook Lamprey and where they spawn every year. Yeah, I come here on YouTube. Ah, yeah. a little mouse. My friends suggested this is a wood mouse or a vol. I'm going to be completely honest and say that I know absolutely nothing of value about mammals. They are simply not my specialism. But I guess we can just appreciate this little dude for his cute appearance. 
Yes, and that is that. Do you know the species? Could it be a wood mouse? Let me know in the comments. The country is the Netherlands. Well, ladies and gentlemen, be behind me, you can see a field of heather in the Netherlands. This is an excellent habitat for many species, such as Sauternia pavonia, the small emperor moth, but also several species of snakes, like vipers. And uh, there's a lot of other stuff. We even have lizards here in the Netherlands, believe it or not. Unfortunately, it is uh, currently too early in spring. As you can see, everything is still barren. It's a bit cold. The uh, fish I showed you today in this video is one of the first pieces to come out in spring. And one of the first pieces I can film for you on YouTube. But we are really waiting for the sun to come back. And uh, the flowers will start growing, the insects will come out. And that's when I will show you more of my countryside like this on YouTube this year. But here it is, a heather field, if you wonder what it looks like. Heather fields are uh, important. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's very, very early in spring. Uh, way too early for most cool species of insects. But I did see yeah, actually one here along the forest road. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's here. Can you see it? No? Well, I guess I'll just have to show you a close-up for a second. Hey, look at that. This is a kind of dung beetle. I think this species is a forest door beetle. Scientific name Anoplotrupus. Stercorosis, formerly also in the genus Geotrupus. But please correct me if I'm wrong, since I'm really not that much of a specialist in beetles either. Although I like seeing them. Yes, these beetles collect dung and are often found in herbivore poop that they burrow underground for their grubs to consume. Lovely. They seem to be out quite early in spring too. But what's really cool is what happens when you turn them upside down. Sorry for turning you upside down, little creature, but look at that splendid blue stomach. Dung beetles are honestly underrated creatures. No doubt they play a role in fertilizing the soil due to their dung burrowing habitats. Alright, I think we've bothered him or her enough for now. And back you go. Well, that was it for today. Next time I'll show you a different type of animal. I hope you enjoyed it. Time to complete my day with a barbecue chicken sandwich and also a tuna and cheese sandwich. Even in the city it was possible to see some of the fresh water streams coming from the forest as a reminder of what we saw today. Bus tickets are not free, by the way, so make sure you join my Patreon. Why? Because my channel is demonetized, so YouTube does not pay me or support my channel. This channel is crowdfunded. I used all the funds that I raised online for bus tickets and train tickets for outdoor videos. Donations are what allow me to travel the country with public transport so I can film rare animals for you. Bye bye. Sorry for the internet begging is the only way I as a demonetized YouTuber can continue my channel. And now some raw, unedited footage of the lampreys. Without my annoying voice in the background, for those who wish to admire them.
Kunnen het nou grote groepen worden? Ik heb wel een groep van een stuk of twintig gezien. Twintig? Ja. Oh, wow. Het is de eerste keer dat ik ze zie, dus. Uh... Oh, okay. Ja, je hebt ook nog wel eens een albino ertussen zitten. Een albino ook. Oh, maar vanaf hier heb ik wel goede beelden. Er zijn wel viespeuken, zijn heel erg bezig. Vies is zo, dat is homo sapiens. Bonobo. Haken zich vast hè, aan die steentje. Ja. Yeah. Ze pakken die steentjes ook. Kijk. Ze slepen die steentjes denk ik naar waar een nest is. Flits. Beter beeld kan. Ja. Van deze kant heb Kunnen het nou grote groepen worden? Ik heb wel een groep van een stuk of twintig gezien. Twintig? Ja. Oh, wow. Het is de eerste keer dat ik ze zie, dus... Uh... Oh, okay. Ja, je hebt ook nog wel eens een albino ertussen zitten. Een albino? Ja. Nee, je spiegelt het meer, hoor. Qua belichting is het wel een veel beter stukje. Ja. Het is alleen wel verder weg, dus je krijgt ze niet van zo dichtbij. Maar je kan ook weer niet alles hebben. Hè? Niet de hun donderen. Wat hè? Ja. Ook. Oh, maar van vier heb ik wel goede beelden. Allemaal viespeuken zijn heel erg bezig. Vies is zo, dat is homo sapiens. Bonobo.